Welcome to Yoga with Brandy hotel series. So I've got my hotel bed set up here. Sometimes you are on the road and you want to get some yoga in, but you know, you're in a hotel, you don't want to put your feet on the floor, or you just want to stay in bed and, and get this in for yourself before you start the day or when you end the day. So I've got um, maybe what you can have in a hotel, a smaller pillow, a big pillow, and my mattress here. And we're just starting. lie down. Your head can be on the pillow. If you don't like that, you can take that off. Let your legs be long. Hands can be at your side or resting on your hips. Close your eyes and we'll just start our practice by breathing in through the nose and out the nose. Starting to relax. Letting everything be heavy into the floor so you can sink into this mattress. Relax your ankles, your hips, your belly, let your elbows be heavy, relax your jaw, and let your head just fall into the pillow. We're going to start here by focusing on the inhales and exhales, being really present. Just signaling your body that you're tapping in and paying attention. Once you've got a nice, smooth inhale, and exhale, you'll bring your knees into your chest. Just give yourself a hug. You could rock side to side, feeling as much of the mattress on your low back as you can. And from here, we're gonna just start out nice and easy with a twist. So arms come out into T or cactus, whatever's more comfortable. Send the knees to the left and the gaze to the right. So you're gonna gaze off your shoulder, and each exhale, you're gonna let your hips and your knees be really heavy. Inhale into the side waist body. And exhale, let your knees be heavy again. So you can start to feel deeper into this twist with each breath. Three more breaths here. your last exhale, your in inhale your knees back into center, taking care to move slowly and kind on your lower back, rock side to side, and then we'll set it up on the other side. Arms in T or cactus, knees go to the left. Come back to the breath. Nice deep inhales through the left side body. Exhales, <laughs> let your knees be heavy. Relax your jaw and your face. Maybe you can even hear your breath in your ears as you inhale deeply and exhale fully. Take one more cycle of breath. Inhale the knees back to center. We're going to move into happy baby. So you're going to reach the feet toward the ceiling and grab for the outer edges. You could also grab the pant legs. You could hold behind the calves. You could hold at the ankles or come into happy baby here. So nice deep inhale and every exhale, let your shoulders and your knees move closer to the mattress. Nice flexed feet. Give yourself a little foot massage with your thumbs if you want. Breathe into the hip flexors and the hips, maybe the low back. We'll try to send the tailbone towards the front edge of the bed. Fill your breath, fill your lungs up with air, feel your chest expand, your belly expands. And each exhale, we're gonna like squeeze that out by bringing the knees closer towards the mattress. If you find yourself really uncomfortable in this position, you can let yourself out of that stretch a little, release the hands, bring them to the pant legs. Lots of things you could do there. Two more breaths like this. You can stay here a long time, getting all the benefits of some gravity, some nice inversion. 
we take our feet to the ground, and if you've got a small pillow or your big pillow, you can lift your hips and bring that underneath. You could also put your hands under your hips, and then we'll lift the feet to the sky. For another inversion, if we were standing up, we'd be forward folding and finding some extra space in our low back. But flex your feet and then point the toes, maybe take that back and forth a little bit. Really feeling into the ankles. You could roll your ankles in one direction and the other. Give you a nice, find a little extra, nice stretch and find an extra space in your ankles. Mine tend to be kind of tight. And then we'll either flex or point the feet and find some stillness. So these inversions help to shift how the blood's moving in our body, changes our perspective, it um, increases activity of the lymphatic system, it just does so much good stuff for us. Again, lots of different kinds of inversions. We'll be able to do a few just laying here in bed. So, um, <laughs> a happy baby with one. This is candlestick is another, and we'll fit a couple more in here. Three more breaths here. If you have something under your hips, let's go ahead and remove it. And we'll bring the feet back to the sky and then bend the knees. So right here, we'll do a little ab work. On the exhale, tip the left toes down towards the ground. They don't even have to touch the mattress. Then inhale back up. Right toes tip, dip down towards the mattress and then right back up. I'm trying to keep the calves parallel to the ceiling. So we'll just back and forth here. Trying to keep as much of your low back on the mattress as possible. We'll start to feel the muscles in our legs heat up. That's what we're looking for. We're trying to um, build a little toughness, a little energy inside ourselves. For a little extra here, you want your left, when your toes are both at the top, you could dip both toes down. Inhale back up. So see what works for you. We've got about eight more movements, your choice. smooth inhales and exhales. Maybe you feel a little shake Good for you. Maybe two toes is too much or just more than you want and you can come back to one toe at a time. About four more movements. If you've already hit that, I'm sorry, you can be done when you're ready. At any point, you can be done when you're ready. All right, hug the knees into the chest. Rock it side to side. We're gonna come, rock ourselves right, uh oh, let's bring the feet back down to the ground. I'll show you a couple extra things you could do here, especially if you're getting ready for bed and just wanna watch TV in your hotel. Bring the soles of the feet together, let the knees go wide, so you're in this supine cobbler's pose, and then you could match your um, hands by bringing your hands behind your head and your elbows out wide. So inhale, fill up your belly, Exhale, let your elbows and your knees be heavy, sinking closer to the mattress. So you can see if you're here a long time, gravity would really do a lot more here to open up your chest and your armpits, your hip flexors. And just take a few more breaths here. If at any point you don't like the pillow behind your head, again, you can remove that. For your last exhale, we're just going to unwind ourselves, bring the knees back to the sky. And this one we're going to come up to a seat. Let's take this pillow and make it go lengthwise so it's parallel, not parallel, but it's the, the, lower, the lower edge of the pillow is against your hips. And then we're gonna lay our back right on top of it. So hopefully your shoulders are kind of spilling off the edge. And you can decide what you wanna do with your hands here. Maybe um, cactus arms or arms out in T. Try to relax heavy shoulders and heavy elbows and heavy palms wherever you're at. And I have summoned help. <laughs> and then with your feet, you have choices. You could keep your knees pointing to the sky you could lay them out long. 
you could bring the soles of the feet together again and have this hip opener. Thank you. You could lay down. Thanks. Or you could bring the knees to the sky, bring the feet out wide, and let the knees fall in towards one another. Lay down. We've got a few breaths here. Again, nice big chest opener. And if you were here for a long time, this would really open up your armpits and get into some spaces that we don't get into during our normal day. Hunched over a computer, iPhone, driving. Nice deep inhales and exhales. Take three more breaths. Enough. We're just going to gently and kindly find our way up to the seat, removing the pillow. Actually, the pillow can stay right where it is. We'll do one more hip opener as a child's pose. So, lots of good help here. You're going to bring the pillow same way, but lengthwise. Bring your knees as wide as the mat. And we're going to lay our child's pose right down on top of this pillow. Hands can be out towards the front of the mat. You could bend the elbows. Each exhale, and then, oh, I also like to turn my cheek to one side. Each exhale, you're gonna let your hips get really heavy towards the mattress, and you're gonna let your upper body melt over the pillow. You could even do, you could stack two pillows. It's just kind of a nice way to do a supported child's pose. If you turned your head one way, Turn onto the other cheek halfway through, so probably right about now. And we'll just take five more breaths here, feeling how this child's pose feels. Trying to relax. Coming back to smooth inhales and exhales. last exhales kindly and gently bring yourself back up we're gonna find a seat back so sit up in a nice cross-legged seat you could also be at the edge of the bed feet hanging down we'll take a small twist here left hand on top of right knee right hand behind the hip inhale sit up tall exhale slowly gaze over the right shoulder two more breaths just like that inhale sit you up tall Exhale, gaze over the shoulder. Kindly inhale back to center, take it to the other side. Sending ourselves some signals that we're going to start to move for our day. We're going to move out of bed and get going. Come back to center. Let's close this up together. Bring your hands to heart center. Maybe you want to bring your thumbs up to your third eye and close your eyes. You can move your thumbs in one direction and then the other, a little massage here. Send yourself some gratitude for showing up, even in a different place or in a different way. Giving yourself this time to pull your energy in so you can be your best self. Namaste.